Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will create a auth repository. Inside the auth repository, I will create a register function to implement the register functionality of the user. Now what is the repository that I have already discussed in the playlist of Flutter and Block QB tutorial. First of all, inside the data folder, let me move to data folder. Here I will create another folder named as a repository. And inside this repository, I will create a new file named as auth repository. Now here I will create abstract interface class and I will give its name as iauth repository. I will be capital and here I will create a function named as a register. Now this register function will take some parameters. What parameters? If you remember during the registration process, the user need to provide first name, last name, email and password. Those informations here I need to pass. To do that here, I will use required string first name. Then it will be last name. then email and then password. Now here I need to specify a return type of this function as well. Now to return to different array types from function, we will use a package that is fp dart. If I go to pubspec.yml, then you can see here I have taken fp dart package. Now let me move to auth repository once again. This function will have the return type as future of this this is provided by fp dart as you can see the package has been imported here then this and this now here i need to specify failure as well as success if it is success then here it will return user which is provided by app right and if it is failure then here i need to specify a type right to do that, to specify the type here inside the core folder, I will create another folder named as error. Inside this error, I will create a file and let me give its name as failure dot dot. Inside this, I will create a class named as failure. And here I will declare a variable final string. Let me give the variable name as message. And after that, I will create the constructor of the class that is failure. And here I will use this one. And this dot message equals to if the user is not providing any value, then by default it will take app string dot internal. Let me import this app string first and now internal server error. So this is our failure and after that here I will create one more file named as server exception. Now how I will use that that I will discuss later on. Here also I will create a class class server exception and what it will do it will implement exception now i will declare a variable final string message then const server exception this dot message so I have created these two classes failure and server exception. Now let me move to auth repository and here I will specify failure. So if it is success then it will return user and if it is failure then it will return failure right. Now here I will create a class 
named as auth repository what it will do it will implement i auth repository and after that i can click here now it is giving me option create one missing override let me click here so i am getting this one now let me remove this now here first of all we need to uh, create the user in the auth database as you can see here that we have auth here first of all here i need to create the user right and once in the auth database the user has been created after that i will create the user in the user collection database fine to do that first of all to create the user in the user database we will need the app right provider which we have created here you can see in the app right provider we have created this object of account so we will need this account object to create the user in the account database and we will also need this database object means actually we will need this app right provider in auth repository so to access this app right provider in the auth repository what i will do i will go to locator and after that let me simply copy this paste it here and now i will change it to app right provider and this will also be app right provider now go to auth repository here i will write final app right provider or we can do one thing instead of writing it here i can create it inside the class actually so final app right provider equals to now i can use locator and after that here i can write app right provider that's it similarly let me copy this paste it here and here instead of app right provider now i will use internet connection checker okay now here what i will do is that i will use a try catch try and after that in the if first of all i will check whether the internet connection is available or not and to do that here i will use await and to use await here i need to use async now to check the internet connection here i will use internet connection checker dot it provides has connection which returns a boolean property so if the internet connection is sorry it will be has connection so if internet connection is available it will return true otherwise false if it is true then what will happen else what will happen if the internet connection is not available then i will return a failure how to return return and after that here i will use left because in the left i need to return failure and in the right i need to return the user because here you can see that in the register in the left we have failure and in the right we have user so if the internet connection is not available then i will return left failure and here i will use app string dot internet not found this i need to return but if the internet connection is available then here what i need to do here i will use await then app right provider now this will give us the object of account and it will give us the create method with the help of which we can create the user and while creating the user it needs a user id now to create a unique user id here i will use id which is provided by app right and i will call the unique method id dot
let me import this id dot unique so this will generate a unique id and email i will pass from here and the password from here right and here i can pass the name as well so in the name i need to pass first name concatenated with last name so our user has been created now i need to create this user in the user collection database and to do that again here i need to use await then app write provider then dot database then i will use create document method and here i need to provide these informations database id collection id so in the database id i can i can write app write constant dot database id and in collection id i can write app write constant dot user collection id because i need to create that inside the user collection in the document id what i need to write in the document actually whenever this user is created i can store it here user because if i hover here then you can see this create is returning future of user so i can store it here user of this and whenever this user is created it will give us a document id means actually the user id and that user id will be the document id so here i can write user dot dollar of id fine and inside this data here i need to pass these informations if you remember the attributes which we have created here these informations i need to pass so let me pass it here first of all i need to pass id and this id will be user dot dollar id after that first name please remember that this one must match with the attribute name so first name and it will be first name similarly last name will be this one then full name and in the full name actually i need to concatenate that first name and last name so full name is also there now i need to pass email here i will pass email so if you match it with the attribute then we have passed id email first name last name full name profile image was optional so i am not passing it for the time being so this user has been created in the user collection let me put a semicolon here now once this has been created successfully then what i will do i will return right and after that here i will pass the user because here you can see in the right it is taking user after that after this try here i will use on app right exception catch of e if any appropriate exception occurs then again i will simply copy this paste it here and in the failure i will pass whatever message is stored inside this e so i will use e dot message and here if the appropriate exception does not occur then for any server exception and if you remember in the server exception here we have implements the exception so for any other kind of exception this particular portion will execute on server exception then catch e and here again let me copy this paste it here and this is e dot message 
so our auth repository has been created it is giving some error let me check it condition must have a static type of pool okay here i need to use await fine so i have created the auth repository with the register function and this register function what it will do it will create the user and after that it will create the user details in the user collection which we have created that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching